Without question, one of the most important aspects of your website is its header. It's on every single page of your website and almost every visitor, if not all of them, are gonna interact with it in some way, shape, or form. That means that your header has to be conversion focused. You spend so much time, effort, and energy getting these visitors to your site, you can't waste it. You have to find a way to convert them into subscribers and paying customers. In this video, I'm going to go over the three core principles to building a conversion focused header using Thrive Theme Builder. Here we go. This is Colin from Thrive Themes back with another video and I wanna get started right away with principle number one, which is simplicity over everything. When it comes to designing a header, you do not want to reinvent the wheel. People have become accustomed to a certain way of interacting and using navigation headers on websites. Let's take a quick look at the site danlock.com and I wanna show you an example of just one that's a little bit confusing. Now you can see here, there's over a dozen things to choose from and then out of those, there's drop downs on top of drop downs. Now this could be great for his case, but I wouldn't recommend this. There's no conversion focused and there is for sure not simplicity. Don't try to get fancy when designing your header. This is the one time and place where it's okay to follow the crowd. You want to kind of use best practices or standard practices when setting up the navigation and the feel of your header. The goal of your header is to make your site easy to navigate for its visitors. You want it to be a pleasant and easy experience for them when they're trying to navigate to your blog posts, your courses, or any other page. So do yourself a favor and make it intuitive. Before we dive into Thrive Theme Builder, I wanna show one example of a site that does a great job at keeping simplicity at its core. Here on backlinko.com, there's virtually no other option but to look at the newsletter or go to the about page. And this is a key component of his site because he's driving everyone back to the newsletter and he's not confusing any of his visitors. I've got some good news for you. In Thrive Theme Builder, we've done all this heavy lifting for you. We've taken out all the guesswork and we've made these headers already conversion focused. We have dozens of templates to choose from and all of them have this principle in mind of simplicity over everything. Now that I've thoroughly explained this principle, let's dive into Thrive Theme Builder itself and I'll show you how you can do this yourself. Now here we have the Thrive Theme Builder header loaded along with the homepage template that we have pre-built into the product. I'm not gonna walk through exactly how I got to this stage, but if you aren't familiar with how I got here, Shane did an incredible video about how to build a conversion-focused website from scratch. That walks you through step-by-step -step how to get here, how to use the setup wizard, and how to use other parts of Theme Builder. For the sake of this video, I'm only gonna focus on the header. The first thing I wanna point out here is that from this part, you can actually change your header. So if you're setting up your site in the wizard before and you didn't maybe pick the header, it was perfect, you just liked it at the time, you can easily change the header. You can save the one you have so you don't lose it, or you can create a new header and choose from one of the many, many templates we have. What we're gonna focus on here though is editing this header I have. Now all we have to do is make sure the header is selected here and you have the option to edit header. This takes us into editing mode. This is the same editing mode we have in Thrive Architect, and this is the, how the editing mode is gonna look throughout Thrive Theme Builder. Within this editor, you can change virtually everything about the header at the visual level. I'm just gonna show a couple things that you can do just to show you exactly how it works, and we'll go from there. Let's say you wanted to change the size of the font of all of your text in the header. So all you have to do is click on it here, and you're gonna see in the breadcrumbs that you can navigate through it. So the custom menu, you can change sizes, the spacing, the padding here, the column that's in it, columns, and the header itself. So it's very clear that you can edit everything custom down to pixel by pixel, but you don't have to. You can just load the template and tweak minor things, and that's what we're gonna do here. So here it says articles. Now, I don't really wanna say articles, they're gonna change it up here. So let's put blog. So this would link to the blog here. You have about, webinars, all I had to do to edit this text was just simply click on it and change it to what I wanted it to be. The same goes for every result in the header, even the button itself. I can change it to unlimited to ultimate traffic guide if I wanted to. It's that simple. The font we have here is a little bit big for my liking. I wanna take this down just a little bit. All I have to do here is make sure that the menu item here is selected so you can easily see that this is kind of this green box around it. I'm just gonna go to typography, and right now it's at 16 pixels. It's just, I wanna take it down a couple of pixels. So let's just drag it, kinda of see what I like. 14's perfect. Gonna leave it at 14, and I didn't have to do one by one and go to the blog, the about, and so on and so on. I was able to just do it one time, and those changes take effect not only on this homepage header, but every other instance I use the header is gonna have the same font applied. 
Next, let's make a couple edits to the button. So the button here seems a little bit small for my liking. I want the font to pop a little bit more. I'm just gonna make this a couple pixels bigger. Let's even do 19. There. Now the button stands out more than anything else. The button is clearly bigger than everything else in the header and the spacing stay the same. You don't have to worry about changing the padding or the margins and stuff. Everything is built for you to edit and manipulate without having to tweak every little possible setting. This brings us into point number two, user first design. When designing your header or for anything on your website for that matter, you wanna make sure that the end user is always in mind. You can't forget about them. As painful as it may be to hear, your site isn't about you. Your site is about your customers, your readers, your visitors, and you always have to be thinking about their best interest. One of the sites I showed in the beginning said has great content, there's a lot it has to offer, but it's just designed and laid out in such a confusing, chaotic way that the average visitor doesn't know what to do next. In our example set here, I could have easily put the Traffic Jumpstart or the 10X Traffic Webinars as standalone links in the navigation, but it wouldn't have been clear that they were webinars. It would have just been this word that said Traffic Jumpstart and 10X Traffic. That's not very intuitive and it doesn't have the end user in mind. However, I put them under the webinars in a drop-down menu. That way people know that, okay, they navigate over to webinars. They know that these two options are clearly webinars. Here are a couple of examples to make this even clearer for you. Let's take a look at TonyRobbins.com and he has tons of digital products, he even has supplements, live events, and everything you could think of. Now, you may be thinking, how would you organize content if you have uh, literally 40 years of content to put here? Well, he's found a very creative way to do it. There's the store, obviously that means to buy things. So pretty intuitive. And experiences, that'd be his live events. But he goes one step further. So you could go by the different type of event and then it has the city or the country you'd wanna to go to the event in. And this is going to the next level of the, keeping the end user in mind so that none of his customers and visitors have to guess what to do to get what they want. One more example is from smartpassiveincome.com. This is a great site with over a decade of content. They've been writing stuff about affiliate marketing, email marketing, and everything under the sun for online business for years. And over this time, he's accumulated hundreds of podcasts, hundreds of blog posts, and multiple products. And he's found a way to put things underneath the learn category. So he's just found a way to organize the site for his customers and his readers. And you can easily do the same with Thrive Theme Builder. When starting out, you're not gonna need all these different products and things to show, but as your business and website grows, Thrive Theme Builder easily allows you to build many things on top to your menus, navigation, and any results on your site. The third principle here is the one thing rule. Have you ever heard the famous Russian proverb that goes like this? If you chase two rabbits, you will not catch either one. And this rings a lot of truth when it comes to building your website and especially your headers. If you try to have multiple goals and multiple call to actions, your visitors aren't gonna know what to do. And what do confused people do? Let's be honest. They do nothing. And that is the last thing that you wanna have happen. I wanna make this clear. Just because you should only have one call to action doesn't mean you should only have one link in your entire header. Let me show you an example here. This is michaelhyatt.com. He has multiple links in his header, but the planner has a yellow underline. It's clearly the most prominent thing. And the same holds true for ryrob.com. Here, he has a standard navigation bar with very similar items, but the work with me has this blue outline around it making it the most prominent thing. Another example from bloggingwizard.com, very basic navigation, but a very large call to action button for his VIP content, which is clearly where he wants you to go. A last example here we have is buffer.com. They clearly want you to try buffer for business. It's blue, it's bigger than everything else, the font, everything stands out. So here's four examples of sites that have multiple things happening in their header, but one thing clearly stands out. For your header, this could be a link to your online course sales page, it could be a link to your webinar registration page or even an email opt-in landing page. Within Thrive Theme Builder, we've done a lot of this heavy lifting, like I said, for you. And within the header we've been building here, this has a very clear call to action. This one here goes to the ultimate traffic guide. And by default, the font was a little bit bigger, had different colors, and already has a button built into the header. For your business, in this call to action button, you could link to your webinar, it could be your online course sales page, or to an email opt-in landing page. You may be also thinking, well, Colin, my business isn't as established as Tony Robbins or Pat Flynn's business. I don't know what I would promote. I'm just getting started, or I've just started writing or making videos for my blog. I don't really have anywhere to send them. Well, the answer is you do. And the first thing you should be focused on building is your email list. 
What I'd recommend if you don't have a flagship course or a consulting service to offer just yet, I would highly recommend that your call to action and all of your headers across your site points them to either an email pop-up, which you can easily build within Thrive Leads, or you want it to go to a dedicated landing page you built with Thrive Architect. The number one thing you can do to help your business is from day one, starting to build your email list. Even if you're not sure what to send them, get started. That's the most important asset of your entire business. And don't be afraid just because you don't have the best product to sell yet, you can still give them value, give your readers value and collect an email. With Thrive Theme Builder, building a conversion focused header has never been easier than before. If you don't already have Thrive Theme Builder, head on over to thrivethemes.com slash theme builder to learn more. And last but not least, make sure to leave a comment below this video. I'd love to hear your thoughts about it and what your main takeaways were. Until the next video, thanks for watching.